Hello, today I'm going to be talking about the home and school connections for ELL students. First, I'm going to talk about cultural influences. All students, especially ELL students, come from diverse cultural backgrounds with their own sets of norms and values, cultural forms, and expectations within education. These cultural influences can impact how students learn and interact with peers and teachers and how they perceive education. It is important to be aware of cultural differences and make an inclusive and supportive learning environment. Cultural competence refers to the ability of a teacher's or to a teacher's ability to understand, respect, and effectively work with individuals with diverse cultural backgrounds. This can look like respecting home languages, holidays, or celebrations. Teaching should be adapted to accommodate to students' backgrounds and to be culturally competent, teachers should strive to create an inclusive classroom where all students feel respected and supported. The social emotional needs of students, of ELL students, um, come with some challenges. Some of those consist of language barriers, cultural adjustments, stress, and or feelings of isolation. Each student will be different and these challenges will in most likely impact a student's academic performance and overall well-being. Educators must create a supportive environment where ELL students feel a sense of belonging and strategies to aid their stress or anxiety. Now I'm going to talk about inst instructional strategies to support ELL students. To support home language and communication, educators should provide resources and information in families' home languages to facilitate communication and engagement. We should also encourage families to share personal stories, songs, and cultural traditions in their home language during school activities or cultural events. We will be hosting a cultural night once a month where families can participate and celebrate their cultural backgrounds. To support family involvement, we will allow families to volunteer in classrooms and school events. This will allow families to become active in their children's education, and we will also have flexible scheduling for parent-teacher meetings and school events to accommodate working parents or those with multiple children. To support families and cultural Families, culture, and community partnerships, we will conduct a monthly cultural night, as I previously mentioned, where anybody and everybody will be welcomed. This will be a great opportunity for families to showcase the diverse backgrounds and talents of students and families. To build trust and relationships, we encourage our educators to put time into building relationships with their families and their students. This can be conducted through home visits, regular communications, such as weekly letters, uh, weekly updates through apps or meetings with parents, or even outreach events. Now I'm going to discuss how to create an inclusive classroom, school and classroom environment. Um, educators should provide culturally relevant materials, examples, and perspectives into the curriculum, making learning meaningful and engaging for students from culturally diverse backgrounds. We will encourage families to become active in participants, active participants in their children's education through volunteering. Families can choose to bring in and share stories or unique materials or traditions to teach students of their background. This will help educators build a strong relationship with families along with their students. To support students' language development, we will use, utilize scaffolding and provide differentiation instruction to support all students. We will create a safe and loving classroom environment where all students feel heard and valued. We will teach, we should teach our students how to support and uplift each other. We will have ongoing professional development opportunities for teachers to enhance their cultural competence and language awareness and instructional strategies for diverse learners. So the role of family and community in ESL, ELL students. Family is often the primary source of language input for young children. Families should be encouraged to support their students learning through storytelling, conversation, and reading out loud to provide valuable opportunities for language exposure and vocabulary development. 
Young children need constant motivation, so we should be encouraging our families to have positive attitude, attitudes towards language learning as it enhances students' confidence, motivation, and endurance in learning. Encourage your families to educate their children on their family's cultural background or family history to ignite the spark of curiosity in children of learning about culture. We can teach families the importance of exposure of language variation and how it can enrich students' understanding of language. Thank you.